What? Are these all brand new? I might have just found the rarest vintage Nerf Blaster collection in the world. Stay tuned. Right now, I'll be reacting to your Nerf Blaster collections live on camera. For every picture or video submitted, I'll donate $3 to help out Ukraine. The thing is, even I don't know how many submissions I got, so we're going to find out together at the end of this epic collaboration. My war chest began in 1991. Let's take a look. You know it's serious when he's outside against the fence taking photos. Dude, you got the white out long strike. So jealous. This Reddit user said he started a Nerf club 10 years ago. He bought and resold to collectors and to birthday parties, and his hobby gave him opportunities to snag some of his favorite blasters, such as the long strike, as you can tell. People would kill to have some of these vintage blasters, and you have some of the original boxes. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, the ratchet blast. If you've seen one of my recent videos, you would understand the reference here. Oh my god, you got the, 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 the wearable one. The on your head and the terminator one i can't remember the name of it i love this photo oh and you got the coles exclusive alpha trooper i hope you bought this on sale otherwise it wasn't that great of a price if i remember correctly you my friend you get five out of five you get the golden bread award absolutely amazing arsenal and some fantastic older blasters here as well submission for the nerf collection video more info in the comments oh man look at this aesthetic holy we got our first 2022 Rival Blaster, it's the Fate. And yes, I did have to Google that off camera because I completely forgot its name. I love that takedown. Kind of reminds me of the Beaver Blaster. I got to give the aesthetic of these photos at least a 4.5 out of 5 breads. This is very nice. Oh, I like how you mounted the Scravenger on here. That's sick. Here's my stuff. I don't have a lot. Again, no worries, my friend. Thank you for sharing. Just because you took the time to line up all your darts, I'm going to give you a 3.95 out of 5 breads. Oh my gosh, this looks like a true man cave. Oh, you got out of darts book. I have the same one. Let's see what else you got. Oh, what? You have an entire country's worth of blasters in here. Nerf is my midlife crisis sports car, I guess. <laughs> Maritime Foam jokes that he has the largest Nerf collection in Eastern Canada, entertaining the likes of his own kids and others by organizing Nerf games. This basement was once an abandoned daycare before being reborn as the ultimate Nerf bunker. Dude, look at this pegboard. You've built it to like mesh with the house structure. Oh, of course, you, of course you have a closet with hanging stuff. Maritime Foam, my friend, you are getting a absolute five out of five for your collection. Here's my collection, been collecting for like five years now and still am. I see you, you're using one of those closet shoe racks for all your Nerf pistols and it looks like it's working very effectively. Oh, and this is the Rival Blaster that everyone trashed on me because I kept pronouncing the name wrong and I, and I still can't remember. Is it Heracles? Heracles. A painted over Rebel Bow, exactly what I did with my Deadpool Bow mod. I got to give this a 4.75 out of 5 baguettes. Not every blaster I have, but all my high FPS ones. This is the first picture of its kind we've seen today. We got a bunch of blasters in the snow. Did you hydro dip this to get this cool camel pattern? If I'm not mistaken, this looks like a Dart Zone Pro Mark 1. And this was a limited run. I believe there's only a thousand of them made. Gotta give this one an upvote. The infamous Jolt King 627. What? No. When your blasters are not on the floor, where do they all reside? <laughs> Count the number of jolts with me, folks. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 13, 17, 18, 19, 19? This is one of the coolest photos we've seen so far. We gotta give it a 5 out of 5 sourdough breads. It's really cool to see people's collections mesh with their other hobbies. We can see that this person likes music, obviously, and gaming. Look at all that RGB. Definitely a gamer. And this person's love for propane tanks. This video gets a 5 out of 5 for character. Hey, we got a submission from Snowhue. This person has sent me fan art, which was really legit. Oh, and their arsenal is also legit. Halo Energy Sword. Next one from Cheese. I legit just put nails in my wall. I didn't think about making a rack. Let's see how scuffed this is. Was this one of the original Night Finders that came out in 2003 or 4? And this is the old school tech target. Fun fact, this was my very first Nerf Blaster. I'm gonna give this collection photo a four out of five because it's nostalgic and it's also very yellow, which matches the persona of your cheese avatar. <laughs> Next up, why are these photos so aesthetic? 
So my friend jokingly sent me a bunch of photos of the same dinosaur figure. Do you accept dinos instead of Nerf blasters? Mmm, I guess. We got a submission from JSNerf99. This person has helped me out countless times in my Nerf news videos when I had to show pictures or info about the latest leaked Nerf blasters. Just when you thought we've seen it all, we now have a Nerf collection laid out on a trampoline. First time I've seen this. We're not limited to blasters, we also have the Nerf Endstrike game for the Wii. I think the most iconic thing from that game was the Nerf Switch Shot, which was a blaster that was included with your purchase. You would put your Wii remote inside the blaster and that's how you would aim in game, or you could swap it out with the plunger tube and you could actually use it as a real life dart blaster. So at the time I thought that was pretty innovative. Whoa, it's been a while since we've seen a post with some fancy lighting. Love what you're doing, keep it up. Oh my gosh, the orange even glows with the light. These look like command strip hooks, which I didn't know were strong enough to hold up nerf blasters. I'm going to give these collection photos a 4.75 out of 5 for uniqueness and character. This is from my son Joel. This is my nerf collection mostly collected from Christmas gifts and thrift stores. Keep up the good work, bread. Thank you for sending some photos to me, man. Wow, this collection is really spanning a couple decades. This is one of the very few collections with a nerf laser ops pro blaster here. I recognize this. This is the unofficial Nerf Blaster Guide. I've seen it on Amazon a few times. We got a submission from Francois. He says, Hi, my true collection is the one with my modded painted blasters. Most of them steampunk style because I love the aesthetic. Wow. Okay, this immediately gets 5 out of 5 for an extremely unique collection. That totally fits the steampunk theme. And the Revoltinator. I never thought that it would look this good in steampunk. If I'm not mistaken, this kind of looks like an Adventure Force Blitzfire. Is that a super soaker up here? Oh my god, and I just noticed this big chonker here. Uh, what is this called? The boss? No. The judge. The judge. <laughs> This is one of those cool photos which you can look at for like 30 minutes and notice all these small little details. Yep, that's definitely the proper way to use a Nerf Blaster. By the way, I like the way you painted your hammer shot, which is why I painted mine with the same design, just instead of mint green, it's blue. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks so similar to the chemist. It's funny because that video that I made with the hammer shot just went absolutely viral and I had no clue that a ton of people were inspired by that and started painting their own hammer shots. This might be the second photo someone has sent of their hammer shot which was inspired by my own and that's in that's crazy to think of and, and to see. Whoa, we got a lot of photos here from Scheme. Wow, that is a lot of stuff. This is a Nerf collection. I wonder if your mag strikes still work because as we know, a lot of them had issues with the airbag and them leaking. Oh cool, first person we've seen with the new X-Shot FaZe Clan Rage Quit Blaster. We got some new inbox foam weapons that looks like it's from the Doomland series. Three Warlock axes. There's the mace, the Stonewall shield, the Zombie Strike sword. Oh, there's more maces up here. Oh. Two white out long strikes. Is that a red strike Vulcan? Ho 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 hold up, hold up. Oh there it is again. Yeah, here's a stock image of the red strike Vulcan. And without saying anything, it's just right here. He didn't mention it in the email. That is the biggest shock to me out of everything here. Wow, that is so incredibly rare. Based on the quantity and the quality of your collection, I gotta give you a five out of five. Even if it's only a dollar, I encourage you to donate to help the innocent people affected by the war. On this channel, we promote making a positive impact in our own lives as well as others, and this could be a way to make a slight difference. When you know his name is Vintage Nerf, you know his name is Vintage Nerf. Dude, it feels like I just walked back in time. I've never seen so much Vintage Nerf in good condition, in a single room. All of these rockets in their original packaging. If only if I could see this in person, my jaw would hit the floor into like the basement floor. A vintage Japanese blaster? How hard is it to get that? I've done a couple videos about obscure Nerf products and this was definitely on the list. Unidentified floppy object and it's just like a rubber disc. <laughs> The reason a collection like this is so astonishing is because these blasters have been kept in box for decades and that is a lot of work because they have a lot of volume. Most people don't have the foresight or the patience to do something like this with products. Man, I hope you have insurance on these things. Okay, someone proved me wrong, but my limited research indicates that this is the largest brand new in box vintage Nerf collection on the internet. 
Estimating how much this collection is worth is beyond me because of how rare it is to see some of these toys in new condition. If you didn't know, in a lot of cases, brand new inbox condition exponentially raises the rarity and value of practically any vintage toy. To say that this should be featured in a documentary or something is an understatement. 10 out of 5 baguettes, take my money. Now for the final reveal, I counted up all the photos and videos and we have a grand total of 98 submissions. You guys are incredible. So that means we're going to be donating 98 times 3, $294 to the Red Cross. $294 donating now. And there we go. I truly mean it when I say thank you for watching. Hope you do something great today and get that bread.